Hello, Namaskar and a very good afternoon to all the viewers watching NCRT's live interactive session. I am Simran Singh and you have all connected with us through eVidya channel number 7. Besides this, you all know the diverse mediums through which you can connect with us. You can also participate in our live sessions. By raising your queries, your questions in the comment section of our YouTube channel, that's NCRT official. And for this half an hour, we have a session of English for all class 7 students and viewers from any other classes if you have connected with us if you have any of the queries so feel free to connect with us give us a call at this contact number flashing on your screens it is 8800440559 and besides this you can always reach out to us and write to us at our mail id for class 7 students the mail id is dth.class7 at the rate ciet.nic.in so let me also apprise you the topic that we are going to discuss today in this segment of English. Well, it's a beautiful poem by Shirley Bohr and it is titled as Trees. So providing us more insights into the conversation we have with us, Professor Salyu Gyadav, sir. Namaskar, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, Welcome, thank sir. Thank you very much. I would also like to introduce our viewers to you. Sir is uh, serving at Department of Education and Languages from NCERT. A very warm welcome to you. And sir, uh, let's begin the conversation, try and understand more about trees. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, uh, good afternoon to um, all of you. Uh, today, uh, we are going to discuss and interact with you about a beautiful poem. The title of the poem is Trees by Surly Bohr, an English poet. Uh, who is uh, very famous uh, as a poet who wrote about nature and uh, most of you are aware about uh, you know trees in your surroundings you might have seen trees different kinds of trees uh, in your locality in your courtyard or even in your neighborhood so today uh, the poet uh, because you know that in this modern age uh, we have a kind of uh, you know indifference towards nature so in order to just encourage people to love nature she has written this poem and uh, first of all read me uh, let me read out the poems so that you can just listen to me that how this poem can be read or recited with proper stress and intonation. So let me read out the lines, then after that I will explain one by one. Sure. Uh, so uh, let me read out the lines, please listen to me attentively. Uh, trees are for words, trees are for children, trees are to make tree houses in, trees are to swing swings on, trees are for the wind to blow through, trees are to hide behind in hide and seek, trees are to have tea parties under, trees are for kites to get caught in, trees are to make cool shade in summer, trees are to make no shade in winter, trees are for apples to grow on and pears, trees are to chop down and call timber, trees make mothers say what a lovely picture to paint, trees make fathers say what a lot of leaves to rake this fall. So you listen to this poem and you must have observed that uh, the poet has used trees so many times. Hmm. Uh, you may ask a very relevant question that why the poet has given the title trees not tree uh, you know uh, because the poet is not talking about a single tree but he is concerned with almost all the trees which exist on this earth every tree is important whether it may be a small or big all trees have their own significance for the mankind so one by one the poet has you know uh, actually highlighted that how trees are important, how trees are important for birds. You know that 
birds make their nests in the branches of the tree. So, uh, birds can exist, they feel happy only because of the trees. If there are no trees in the world or on the earth, you can just imagine the you know predicament of uh, these uh, birds. And not only birds, but even for children, you know that uh, children they find uh, so many kind of opportunities around the trees, they feel happy, they can play uh, under the tree, they can just uh, you know, uh, uh, they Jump can, on the tree. Uh, yes, uh, so, tr so trees are necessary uh, for the pleasure of children and uh, people can also make trees, uh, tree houses on the tree. You can just see in the picture that how beautifully the house uh, has been made uh, on the tree. Uh, not only this, uh, you know, there are some children or even the grown up people who love to swing uh, on the branches of the tree. So, they just hang the swings and they enjoy the pleasure of the swinging. So, in this picture you can also see that uh, people can easily just make uh, the swings and just they derive the pleasure. And you know, when the wind blows, uh, how do you feel that the winds are, wind, wind is blowing? You find that the branches of the trees, they swing, they move. So, trees are for the wind to blow through. And uh, it is very pleasant when you are just, uh, you know, in the surrounding of the trees, uh, particularly in summer season, you find that uh, when the uh, wind uh, just crosses through the trees, it gives you the pleasant experience. So, trees are for the wind to blow through. And as I told you earlier also that children also play uh, hide and seek, it is a kind of game. Uh, beside this game, there may be many games which children would love to play uh, with the help of the trees or around the trees. So, trees are to hide behind in uh, hide and seek. It is a just example the poet has given before us. And then not only this, even grown up people, big people, uh, they can enjoy tea party under the shade of the tree. So, you can just see that trees are to have tea parties under. Sometimes, you know, we go to just celebrate the picnic. Uh, the same food, the same item which we take at our home, uh, they can be enjoyed in more, uh, you know, open and uh, happier manner uh, when we are in the natural surroundings. So, it is all because of the trees. Uh, just right from the beginning up to this and again not only this it has again you know uh, children are very fond of flying kites sometimes our kites are caught in the branches of the tree so uh, this is also one of the uh, you know uh, kind of thrill that the children have when your kite is caught in the tree you climb on the tree then you take it out so trees are for kites to get caught in uh, and then uh, the poet has again uh, you know uh, expresses that how uh, this is uh, uh, trees are to make cool shade in summer uh, particularly those people who who live in rural area or in uh, far away from the town uh, they don't have the facility of you know uh, just uh, air condition or even fan uh, trees provide them, uh, you know, proper shed, adequate shed uh, to feel happy there under the tree. So, during summer season, people in rural areas, they come from their houses, sit under, under the tree and they enjoy and they pass their time in a very happy way. And not only that, you know, in winter, you know that in winter. So, this is the contrasting uh, line, these two lines. In the first line, the poet says that trees are to make cool shade in summer, uh, but the same trees, trees are to make no shade in winter. In winter, because we do not need shade, so uh, trees are good even in winter 
but it does not uh, just make a school rather when you will go uh, beside the um, tree you will enjoy the pleasant said also uh, but it is not uncomfortable unpleasant uh, so uh, equally because uh, you know in winter we can use uh, the um, the woods uh, for making fire also so uh, and then again not only all these which i have mentioned above but trees are also necessary for growing apples growing pears and different kinds of uh, fruits like mangoes guava variety of fruits are grown only on trees so the poet is not talking a single tree about a single tree but he talks about almost all the trees which are important there are some trees which may not give us fruit but their timber is important their woods are important leaves are important so here trees are for apples to grow on and pears because this this is just an example and see again because you know we make our houses we use uh, timber in making door in uh, making furniture all the furniture which we have in our house they are made with the timber of the tree so trees when they uh, become mature enough uh, people cut down and they are used in making different furnitures so so you can just imagine that how valuable how useful trees are for human beings and then the last four lines about which i would like to draw your attention uh, this is the philosophical uh, way of uh, you know looking at the things which the poet has hinted that trees make mother say and it all happens and children can just feel that what is the feeling of the mother what is the feeling of the father in the home uh, so the poet says that the same situation because all these things are available in the surrounding both mother and father are watching and looking at but the response is different reaction is different you know uh, the uh, comment is different so mother says on the one hand trees make mother say what a lovely picture to paint uh, you know she is so happy to see that how beautiful picture we can have with the help of the trees and uh, uh, she is overwhelmed with the beauty of uh, the trees because nature is itself beautiful and uh, without nature you know we people are incomplete it is also said that art is man added to nature it means that no art can be created without nature we can take any uh, you know uh, aspect of nature and we prepare the art so mother is overwhelmed and she exclaims that uh, what a lovely picture to paint but the same situation is being reacted by the father so trees make father say and it is not the reaction of a single mother but all the mothers all the fathers what a lot of leaves to rake this fall you know uh, when there will be so many leaves which will fall from the tree father uh, has the concern that we will have to pile it up we will, we will have to collect them uh, to just make huge for some uh, purposes so you can just imagine that uh, how beautifully the poet has you know counted the benefits the usage of the tree in our life in our day to day life of course and uh, uh, you know uh, without you know having uh, company with the nature our life is dull and dry rather uh, the poet wants to say that cut off from nature Uh, we are deformed human beings are deformed we can't imagine a complete person complete personality without having friendship with nature so through this poem the poet has tried to just give a message that every individual should develop a love for nature we should try to make friendship with nature because nature does not make any discrimination if you go into the lap of nature with your open heart 
nature is ready to provide you gifts. Gifts may be in any form, it may be fresh air, it may be fruits, it may be flowers, it may be scenic beauty. So, this is a wonderful poem, this is a small poem, but it has a very big message for us. Of course, and sir, as you just mentioned uh, in the poem itself that uh, trees, they are very significant to mankind and not just human beings, of course, e about every species uh, present on this earth. Somehow trees in our surroundings and nature benefits them. Uh, we all know that trees are really very important. Still, there is a need to keep on saying that save trees, save nature. Uh, why is that so? I think maybe that is the cause that we are adding or uh, we have integrated this as a part of students curriculum. How would you like to? Actually, present? what has happened over the years, actually, you know, we know that uh, the entire world is inching towards materialism. Hmm. So, uh, in order to get more commercial benefit, people are cutting trees ruthlessly. Uh, so, there is a need to make uh, students aware that trees are so important because our life will be in danger if we not uh, protect the trees. So, uh, uh, it, it is very important that everyone has to understand the value of trees on this earth. Otherwise, not only human beings, even other creatures, as I have pointed out in the beginning, the poet has said that birds make their nests on uh, in the branches of the tree. They yeah. can't survive. Yeah. If there are no trees, then many other animals also, mm. because they will have to depend upon the trees for the food. Uh, and we get fruits, we get flowers, we get so many things. Uh, so, everything is rolled into one in this poem. And uh, you know, uh, this uh, poem provides us a complete package. Uh, and this is the reason that this is one of the prominent poems of uh, Shirley Bohr that made her popular because of this poem she is you know uh, remembered by mm. the lovers of literature. Of course and sir as you just mentioned literature there is another uh, bell ringing in my mind it is uh, this poem also highlights the interdisciplinary approach where generally about trees and nature and surroundings we talk about them in science but this is an aspect of nature that has integrated a lot within itself. Uh, Would you yes, like to comment uh, on that? True, true. Uh, you know that uh, a poet or a um, writer uh, has a bigger concern actually, you know. Hmm. Uh, normally, sometimes people make a uh, Mac line that this is the theme of science, this is the theme of social science. Yeah. But uh, literature or poetry is something uh, which appeals to the heart of each and every individual. Hmm. Uh, because the way it presents uh, the ideas, hmm. the presentation part is uh, something which makes literature different from science or social science. Yeah. Uh, if science people will talk about trees, they will uh, talk in a different way. Hmm. Language will be different, the style will be different, but the poet has some emotion in built in the expression. So, this emotive part that appeals to each and every individual irrespective of profession, uh, he or she may be a farmer, engineer, doctor or teacher or professor whatever they may be. But literature goes straight to the heart, not because of the theme, hmm. but also because of the style. Of so, if the trees have uh, been made the theme of a poem, it has a purpose, hmm. because it has its music, it has its rhythm, intonation, hmm. and uh, the way he has highlighted or presented the things that appeals to each and every child or individual, uh, which may be imbibed very easily, which might not be uh, cultivated through other discipline of science. Of course, of course, well said. And uh, sir, let us proceed ahead. Do we also have certain tasks or activities for our students? Uh, yes, uh, actually I would like to just, uh, you know, uh, ask because uh, the purpose of teaching poetry is also uh, to listen, uh, you know, carefully or read out carefully. And after that, they should also uh, be very keen observer. Hmm. They should be sensitive about the words which have been used. So, in this poem, uh, if uh, I ask that how many times uh, the word trees have been used, it is a poem of 16 lines yeah. only. Uh, but you know, 15 times uh, tree words have been used in this poem, when you will see it uh, very attentively. Hmm. And there are some words which are rhyming words like call, fall. 
सो इच एंड एवरी वर्ड इज इंपॉर्टेंट इन पोइट्री एंड दे हैव बीन यूज विथ ए पर्पस विथ एन ऑब्जेक्टिव to just convey the message to convey the meaning uh, so these are the things and of course this poem uh, does not maintain hard and fast rule of uh, meter or rhyme scheme but despite of the lack of the rhyme scheme uh, we have the internal music because the way uh, the expression is put uh, one by one because he you know has given the catalog of usage of trees very beautifully and uh, when you read the poem in totality you find it very interesting and message is also very clear loud and clear uh, which has been given in this poem of course and also sir towards the very uh, last extreme last uh, four lines uh, i think there is something that uh, we can interpret out of that uh, we look at a thing uh, it may be one one common thing like we can look at taj mahal and uh, but everybody if they are provided to write something on it the lines will be very different right so that that's how i think a, a person puts their perspective into this into poetry or maybe into anything how do you see that uh, you know uh, rightly you have given the example of taj mahal poem is also just like an art like taj mahal you know uh, taj mahal uh, you know is a monument is an art hmm. uh, and uh, you know uh, people uh, many people say that uh, um, uh, it is something immortal it is a symbol of love hmm. uh, but there are some you know uh, poets who said that uh, you know kisi sahansa ne garibon ke mohabbat ka udaya hai mazak meri mehbooba kahi aur chala kalo kahi aur chal kar mila kare like that Uh, but uh, you know another, on the other hand even a poet like tagore he says that it is a tear uh, eternal tear on the cheek of time hmm. uh, it means that he has just glorified uh, taj mahal as an art yeah uh, so the point is that also here in this poem the situation is the same because uh, as i described that how trees uh, just uh, provide us all the things but mother says that uh, it is a beautiful thing to look at uh, because it enhances the beauty of nature so it pleases the eyes of the individual but the father says that it enhances our work to just pile up the leaves of the tree of course uh, so see that uh, two persons look the same situation differently so the poet wants to just uh, give an idea that how the same situation same object can be looked at hmm. differently by different people of course of course and sir uh, as we are running out of time so very quickly i'll request you to reflect on the last aspect that how this kind of poems uh, should be taught in the classrooms what is the pedagogical approach that need to be followed by the teachers uh, actually in this uh, type of poem the teacher first of all must be uh, must uh, give the opportunity to the children to read out to just uh, Uh, work individually after that they may work in group and then teacher should give a model reading uh, because you know sound is very important in poetry pronunciation is very important so if uh, the teacher gives a model reading through that the students will learn how to pronounce a particular word or how poetry may be recited and then uh, teacher should also Uh, give some tasks because it is on trees so he may ask uh, with the introductory questions like that uh, have you seen trees if you have seen trees what are the names of those trees like that so that gradually a students may be brought into the heart of the poem and then he or she should start teaching uh, poem trees of course thank you so much sir Uh, thank you so much for highlighting the concept behind the poem and for explaining it so beautifully to all our viewers. Thanks a lot for your time. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you to all the viewers who have connected with CIT and CRD for this particular session of English. It's a wrap up for our English program where we were discussing a poem that was titled as Trees by Shirley Bohr. And also, viewers, before wrapping up the program, an important piece of information for all of you. As you know that for this academic year 2023 to 2024 NCERT textbooks are widely available all across the country. 
you may purchase them directly from the different sales counters of NCRT that are currently located at New Delhi, Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Kolkata and Guwahati. Also, if you would like to place an order online for these textbooks, that is also possible through the website link flashing on your screens. You can either download them in the PDF or the soft copy version also. In order to explore more about the textbooks, their availability and also about authorized vendors, feel free to connect with us and also explore the website of NCRT. Thank you once again. Do not go anywhere because next up we have our program of social science for all class 7 students. और सोशल साइंस के अपने इस सत्र में हम जानेंगे कि रेगिस्तान में जीवन किस तरह का होता है इससे जुड़े हुए विभिन्न आयामों पर पहलुओं पर जानकारी हमारे मेहमान हमारे साथ साझा करेंगे सो कीप कनेक्टेड एंड स्टे वाचिंग ये विद्या चैनल्स विल बी राइट बैक विद इन फ्यू मिनट्स नमस्कार